Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to G9's Taco Truck. It is the morning of day 10 and we got this guy fucking around over here. Man, these bars are like zombie repellent. He can't do anything against them. He just walks in place. This happens a lot during Horde Night uh, over down that way. But he doesn't hit the bars. He'll take a swing at me if I get close enough, but he doesn't hit the bars. Man, we gotta figure out what block this is so we can use it in a Horde base. Maybe in Darkness Falls. Anyway, uh, I got a few skill points to spend this morning. Let's do that. I'm going to put two of them into Strength Level 6 and the last one into Boomstick Level 2. We're going to be one strong son of a bitch. But you got to be strong if you're going to run a taco truck nowadays. All right, the first thing we're doing this morning is this job for Trader Hugh that's right down the road. Then we're going to go grab that supply drop that came in yesterday. And then we're going to go see Trader Hugh. Uh, because his inventory restocks today. All right, looks like we're at the funeral home for this job with the taco truck in the parking lot. Great place for it, you know. You can go to a wake and get some street tacos, make a day of it. Uh, I already looted those caskets. We can loot them again now that I've activated the job, but the loot's always bullshit now. It's just rotten flesh, bones. We used to get ammo from the caskets. Now we get bullshit. I don't think uh, the taco truck reset. No, of course not. It's The taco truck is its own POI, actually. Uh, if you go to, like, the POI list, in the, uh, once you have the debug menu open, I think it's called food truck. More rotten flesh. You know what? Fuck the caskets on the sign. I'm not even going to loot them. Let's check this car, and then we'll head inside. I'll take the pipes. Probably just scrap them. We got these white caskets in here. They're a little bit more fancy. Maybe they got a little bit more fancy loot inside them. Let's see. Not really. I mean, I do get the rotten flesh and the bones in the casket. It makes sense. And I think that's what the devs are trying to do. They're trying to make the loot that you find in certain places make sense, right? I mean, why the fuck would there be ammo and cash inside a casket? Uh, it's, uh, it's a shame, but uh, like I said, it does make sense. Oh, waking the dead in a funeral home. It's funny. I remember being at a funeral home as a kid. My mom shushing me, telling me, respect the dead. What she really meant was respect the people that just lost somebody. And she was right. You know? Somebody just laid to rest a loved one, and I'm over here talking about which fucking Ninja Turtle action figure I want. And I'll take the electrical parts and the lead. I wasn't trying to be disrespectful, though. I was just a stupid kid. Now look at me. I'm a stupid adult. Some things don't change. But, I did change, because I grew up, and then I lost a friend that I was close to. And I watched a whole bunch of people cry over him and say how much they missed him. Meanwhile, when he was alive, they had nothing but fucking mean, nasty things to say. Nobody respected him. Now that he's dead, everyone respects him. Fuck you. Respect people when they're alive. Tell them you love them when they're alive. When they're dead, it's too late. All right, now that I got everyone in a good mood, <laughs> let's, let's continue on. Um, we got a zombie at the back door. I guess it doesn't really matter. We're about to go up on the roof. Uh, I'll take the first aid bandage and I guess the aloe cream. All right, let's uh, deal with whatever's at this back door. All right, we're almost done here. There's a bird. Somewhere. Right here. See ya. Pop fly. Now, the weighted head mod, we already have one on the sledgehammer, so we can put that second one on the sledge turret before the horde fight tonight. Uh, the metal chain mod, that only goes on clubs, so I'll probably just sell that. Man, it sounds like we got a lot of zombies downstairs. Hey, ladies. Man, that's a spider zombie. What do we got? A little wandering horde down here? Oh, shit. Didn't mean to do that. All right, looks like we do have a little horde. And now we have no choice but to deal with it. Oh, let's get inside. Or not. We got big mamas coming out. 
Uh, now let's get inside. We got a door right here we can close. Oh shit, I have no stamina. Close that door. Fuck. I should have respected the dead. This is my karma finally catching up with me. Close the door. Oh, okay, thank you, lady. Oh shit. Damn it, big mamas. They pushed through that door like it was a buffet line. Let's get behind this door. Oh, there's that spider zombie. Where'd he go? There he is. Oh, shit. Man, this is not good. Guess we got another door. Oh, that didn't kill him. Man, we're getting our ass kicked. Listen, if I die, you don't have to be quiet at my funeral. I promise you. I won't hold it against you. Die, big mama. Yeah, all right. Come on up here, you fucks. Let's go. We're going up on the roof. Close that hatch. All right, let's reload. Get some stamina back. Holy shit. My god. What is this? I thought vanilla was supposed to be easy. I'm having a harder time here than I am in Darkness Falls. Die, big mama. Come on. Oh my god. Jesus. Big mama. For real. She just eating this fucking spear. Holy shit. Well, it is a level one stone spear. But still. How much can she take? Oh, that was it. That was her limit. For fuck's sake, man. All because I fell off the roof. That's alright, we're good. 88 hit points? Pfft. So far from death. Does I'm not even phased. Some peas, that'll help out. Where are we going? The supply drop to the northeast. Let's go grab this thing. Then we'll go see Trader Hugh, sell him some shit, check his inventory because it restocks today, and then, uh, I guess, do a job for him. Might as well try and level him up. You know, maybe we can finally get our hands on a crucible. Oh, the town pond. This will be good drinking water, I'm sure. I mean, once we boil it. Come on, you two, leave me alone. I'm not going to take all the water. Relax. Just what I need to survive. 68 jars. That should be good for now. Uh, I think I'll go the rest of the way on foot. I got a bunch of shit in the bike's inventory. We're already encumbered. I don't want to uh, get stuck here with the bike and then we don't have enough inventory space to hold everything to be able to pick the bike up. It becomes a complete mess. So here we are. Let's see what we got. Recipe we already know, and uh, Melee Mods Bundle, which we've gotten already. Probably just sell those. Ten Pipe Bombs, beautiful. Those were fun to use in the last horde. I'll definitely be using those tonight. Well, I decided against doing a job for Trader Wrecked. Instead, we're gonna do some exploring. I know I called him Trader Hugh before. My worlds are colliding. Between this and Darkness Falls, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing anymore, but this main road here, it runs south, so we're gonna follow it and see what we can find. This is that real culty POI. It's always out in the middle of nowhere. What's the name of this place again? Something with the word hope in it. Hope Cabin. The New Life Hope Cabin, that's what it is. Yeah, super culty. I mean, you could say it's a rehab, but I doubt it. I mean, if I was gonna start a cult, I would definitely name it New Life Hope Cabin. And then people would be like, oh, is that a rehab? And I'd be like, yeah, sure it is. Come on by, we're out in the middle of the desert. We don't have an official address. Just keep driving south until you get to the point where you're like, there's no way there could be anything out here. And then that's around the time you'll spot us. Uh, let's not go down there just yet. Hello? I'm looking for a new life and some hope. 
and I'm not sure if I'm in the right place. Doesn't seem like I am. Oh. Maybe it's down there. Got another supply drop coming in. Maybe we can pick that up before we head home. They are getting a bit excessive, having one every day. I thought it was going to be a lot tougher to hold down a taco truck, though, to be honest, with a horde every night. So far, it's been pretty fucking easy. And we're only on day 10, so I don't want to get ahead of myself. Oh, look at this. This is normal for a rehab, right? To bury people in the backyard. Here lies Jed. We cured him of his alcoholism by having him drink Kool-Aid. Poison Kool-Aid. There we go. Oh, yeah. Come on, lady. I can swing this hammer underwater. Oh, shit. Here we are. Supply drop number two. Fuck you, bird. Another beaker. 500 wooden shapes. That's good. You know what I'm going to do with those? Scrap them and get a shit ton of wood. We can use that wood to craft more spikes. This way we don't got to go waste our time chopping trees down. Unless you can make spikes with the shape menu. I don't think you can, though. No. You can't. Yeah. So I'll scrap them, but I'm going to scrap them in the workbench since it takes like 13 minutes. And then, uh, like I said, use that wood to make more spikes. Nope, damn it. Man, I am off today. Uh, okay, take all that shit. Uh, look at all this iron. It's a shame to not harvest any of it, so let's grab a bit. Looks like we got a small little town here. Mostly homes. I do see a cell tower in the distance, but that's about it. I guess we can find uh, something to raid here. We still got some time to kill. Well, here's something new. Wildfire camping gear. I've never seen this POI before. I kind of want to go for the working stiff tools, but we got to do... Uh, come here, bitch. Let me give you the pickaxe. That's what you get. Um... Yeah, I'd love to do the working stiff tools, but we gotta go for the POI we've never been in before. Camping gear. Do you usually use a crucible when you're camping? I don't think so, but who knows. Maybe we'll get lucky. That doesn't work. I'm not gonna take it apart right now. Let's just raid this place. See what time it is at that point, because uh, we can't be getting home too late. I still gotta lay some spikes out in front of the uh, taco truck. A little bit of food and a uh, zombie somewhere. Well, we're stuck here in this camper. Oh, I see the zombie over by the fence. We're good. Paper, no. Let's check this backpack. Another vitamin. Keep us from getting infected. Let's go deal with this zombie. Get out of here, Kenny. You can't afford a camper. It was a chicken, too. I don't know where it went. Let's just focus on what we're doing here. Oh, it looks like this should be the way into the POI through one of these campers here. Dead and oh shit. Yeah, bitch. Try and corner me in a camper. Put you to sleep. I uh, heard a coyote out here somewhere. Here it is. Oh, get out of here, stripper. This is my meat. You can't just walk up and grab any meat you want. We live in a society. What the hell is going on now? Bird. Fuck. Should have just stayed in the camper. Let's get back over the fence here. Get into this POI at last. There we are. Looks like we're starting on the roof. What a crazy roof. Look at this. A couple of birds. Shit. One down. Two down. This is a crazy roof. I've never seen that before. Where are we going? Oh, I guess 
We gotta follow the lantern. Okay. Uh, what is this sell for? 72 bucks? Yeah, I'll take that. Get that repaired and sell it. Oh, shit. We're cornered in this room. There's nowhere to go. That door's locked. She's dead. Oh, fuck. He's not dead. He sure is good at playing dead. Oh, my God. Die, you fucker. Man. We're having a tough day, but we're going to get through it. Another spider zombie? She dead. This asshole wants me to think he's dead, but I know he's not. Now he is. I keep telling myself to bring a better weapon out during the day, but at the same time, we don't have that much ammo, and being at Horde every night, I'm trying to conserve as much of it as I can. Let's go ahead and read this uh, treasure map here. Uh, to the northeast. Oh, kind of on the way home. Uh, a little bit out of the way, but uh, depending on what time we get finished here, we might have to stop and grab that treasure. Or at least dig it up, you know? Because it is a uh, a locked chest and we don't have any lock picks. Oh my god. Chill, dude. Here they come. Uh, yeah, with no lock picks, we'd have to beat into that chest and it's hour 17. I don't know. If this is the end of this POI, then... Maybe we'll have time. I mean, how much further can this go on for? It's a small little place. Uh, take the wood. Don't need the glue. There's the main loot. Big boy, can you stop, please? I'm trying not to wake anyone else up. Uh, so much for being clear in here. All right, then. That's how it's done. Took me all episode to get warmed up. Oh, bandolier mod. That's nice. We'll put that on our chest armor. That uh, increases reload speed, if you don't know. And we got a locked chest here. So we're going to beat into it. See how long it takes. It's hour 18 right now. So, um... Let's see. Oh, weapons bag. Almost missed this. Alright. Let's do it. About 45 minutes. That's a decent grab right there. All right, well, it's kind of early to be heading straight home now. So what we're going to do is go for the treasure and at least dig it up. And then we'll see what time it is once we get it dug up. You know, because it's going to take about 45 minutes to beat into it. Because the treasure chest has the same amount of hit points as the chest we just beat into, which is 7,000. So let's just get here, dig up the treasure, and we'll see what time it is. Oh, here we are. Okay, well, that took a little longer than I thought, so I'm just going to go ahead and mark it on the map. I don't know if uh, the treasure icon will disappear or not, but this way it doesn't matter if it does. Um, we'll come back tomorrow, beat into that thing, and, and grab the treasure. I'm not doing it right now. We got to get home, get some spikes laid, and get geared up. Shit, I should have left that treasure for tomorrow. Did not leave myself enough time at all. Oh, the horde is starting. We're just going to back ourselves into the taco truck here. Got the sledge junkie perched up on a block, so it should do some uh, better work this evening. Oh, shit. Dropping stuff. Oh, I'm panicking. We're okay. Listen, that junkie's going to do a bit of work once the zombies get through the spikes. And then, uh, then it's going to be our time to shine. 
I'm just taking the recog. Give us additional ranged weapon damage and we'll go to work with this pistol. Damn, Junkie. Letting him have it already. Oh, shit. He sent her flying. Dude, this is gonna work out. We should put all the spikes to the right. You know, so the Junkie just pushes them right into the spikes. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Dude, that's a great setup. Just pushes them out of the way. And then they come right back for the door because they ain't got nowhere else to go. You know? They're not... Then for some reason... I mean, maybe they might end up getting frustrated and beating on the side of the taco truck. But so far, that hasn't happened. I'm going to put some spikes up here. I wanted to put some bars up here. Um, because when the zombies pile up, they can get up on the rooftop. Uh, but since, obviously, I didn't have enough time to do that tonight, the spikes are going to have to work for now. But uh, definitely... Oh, shit. Lady... How'd you get in here? She must have pushed her way in. Um, yeah, like I said, the spikes are good for now. But uh, before tomorrow's horde, we'll get some bars up there. See ya. Oh, shit. Lady, what the fuck is going on? You think the junkie is pushing them through the blocks? That better not be the case. That'd be some bullshit. Get out that door, yes! Oh, that's a beautiful thing. Oh, shit! Junkie beat me to it. Man, this is a nice little setup. I am getting tagged, though. Mostly I'm getting hit through the hatch from, like, crawling or ducking zombies. Not much I can do about that except just try and keep my distance a bit more, but, I don't know, I like to push forward. It is what it is. We'll be all right. Let's get another pipe bomb out there. Oh, damn it. Well, it did a little work, but you really want to get that outside the taco truck. There you go. I'll tell you, other than uh, putting the sledge turret on a catwalk and having it push the zombies off of the catwalk, this is probably the second most effective way to use the fucking thing. As long as you can create some sort of hallway or doorway that the zombies are all attracted to, put that fucking thing out in front of it and it just hammers on them all night long. I'm interested to see what the health of that thing is going to look like at the end of the night. You dead, buddy? Oh, shit! Oh my god! What the fuck? It must be up on the roof. I left that hatch open like an idiot. Alright, let's see what's going on. Yeah, they busted through these spikes. Oh man, definitely gotta get those bars installed tonight. And also, not forget to close the hatch when they come inside the taco truck. Oh, nice! Herbal antibiotics? Uh, no, we're not infected. We have an abrasion, so I need uh, either a first aid kit or a first aid bandage to clear that up. Oh, whoops. There we go. Plenty of first aid bandages in there. Son of a bitch. Come on in, guys. No, oh, just kidding. That worked. I, uh, I don't like... When that happens, though, I, I, I probably should just be throwing the pipe bombs from the rooftop and not from inside the truck. Come on. Yes. Now watch this. Oh, perfect timing. The dogs are a new addition to tonight's horde. Other than that, no specialty zombies. No cops yet. Obviously, no demolishers. I don't expect those guys to show up for a while. A dog out there. Oh shit! Junkie pushed him into the spikes. Got this guy caught on those bars. See, I told you, man, those bars. You gotta figure out what block that is. And use that in the horde base. And of course, the zombie that is stuck under the taco truck. We get one of those every night. Look at this guy just running in place over there. Feral lumberjack, not jumping over those bars, not trying to break through them. We might have found, uh, the new AI breaking block. Let's 
scrap the brass, and I'm not hungry right now. I think that's it for loot bags. Let's check the health on Junkie. Full health! Man, that's beautiful. Uh, oh! Got another loot bag over here. Nice, and this guy ran around the fence once we moved. Once we weren't directly in front of that fence. I wonder if we put that fence around the entire taco truck, if they would just... The zombies would just run in place at those bars all night. I'm tempted to try it. But, uh, I said in the beginning, you know, only traps we would put outside of the truck. We wouldn't build anything. Um, alright, well, I'm gonna put those bars in place tonight. Go through our loot. And, uh, that's pretty much it. We'll pick things up here on the morning of day 11. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more G9's Taco Truck, and I will catch you guys in the next episode. <laughs>